Good morning, Aaron. Would you mind faxing this attendance sheet down to Joe for me? Sure. Oh, is it just the general fax line, not her personal one? Uh, yep. Joe's orders. <gasps> Did you read Oscar's blog this morning? Because he wrote about my sign. Just posted another one, Aaron. Oh, cool. Not at 10.23 a.m. he didn't. Yes, I have a blog. It's called There's No Accounting for Taste. <laughs> and uh, it's just anecdotes about an accountant's life uh, intermixed with decorating tips. Our CEO, Joe Bennett, randomly found it while Googling employees, and now it's linked to the Sabre website. Your blog, while work-related, is not work, so can't have you posting during business hours. Joe gave me a ton of notes. I've been on the phone with her all morning. Joe? If you want people to know who you are in this company, get something posted on the Sabre website. Everyone reads it religiously. Because not only is the site synonymous with quality, it is also the mandatory internet homepage of every computer within the company. Hey, Kelly. How would you like to be the very first subject of my new super awesome podcast? No, thanks. Okie doke. There are so many things you have to worry about when you want to become a famous singer. I totally get what Tina Turner was going through. It's like with Oscar's blog, the Subtle Sexuality blog, and Aaron's Subtle Sexuality fan blog, I'm already worried about overexposure. If I do Gabe's podcast, will people say, is she a singer or does she just want to be famous for the sake of being famous? What I need is like an Ike Turner to help me make decisions. Sabre has a website? Yeah, it's supposed to be your internet homepage. Oh, no, 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 it is. I love your podcast on your website. Well, my podcast isn't up yet, so. But if Oscar can have his blog on there, then. Oscar has a blog? Okay, this I gotta see. Okay, that's not the Sabre website. Sure it is. I like hoops, and I like ladies. Why am I the only guy who sees it like this? Hey, Meredith, hey, do you on want to do my... Hold on, and boom. It is better than my handwriting. What's up, Katie? Nothing. Hey, Kevin? What? Wow. Um, do you want to do my podcast? Yeah, totally. This is going to be great. I'm Irish, so I'm a natural sayer of stories and yarn. Here's a ritual that happens millions of times every day. Stapling. Kevin, an accountant, is doing it right now. He's been stapling for as long as he can remember. We all have. But what happens when we stop for a moment to ask the big question, why? Because these things need to be stuck to those things. Who is going to listen to this nonsense? Angela, a rare instance of brains and beauty, a fairy tale princess, stuck in a tower of paperwork, stoically spinning receipts into gold for the Rumpelstiltskin we all call the man. Thank you. Oscar, how dare you post that photo of me eating a chili dog? You gave it to me to post. Yeah, but she told you to crop everyone else out. I didn't have time, okay? Never blog about us again. I'm serious. Gabe, we're gonna do your podcast. Wait, seriously? Thank you. Yes, I think it would be a pleasure for all of us. Ooh. Kevin. Okay, first, thank you for staying after work. To tell the truth, I'm not too excited about staying tonight, but my sister is having a Tupperware party. And if I was there, I would just buy everything up. The subject today is having it all. So, what does having it all mean to you? A job and a family. Okay, great. Great answer. Anyone else? A job and a family. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no wrong answers, so... Having it all. What does it mean to you, Angela? The same. A job and a family. Oh. <laughs> Sensing a trend. Okay. When we really unpack the text, having it all. Job and a family. That's all anybody ever means when they ask, can you have it all? Which I have, and it ain't shit. Wait, I should be saying this to your cameras, Gabe. Where are your cameras? Oh, there is no camera. This is an audio podcast. I showered for this. I don't understand. This has just been an audio recording. Which? I would have used my Scarlett Johansson sexy voice. I consider Woody Allen a very dear friend. Well, I think the site is just looking for something simple. No, if we're going to do this, we should do this right. I have video equipment. I have lights. I have yeah, release please, forms. Please, Gabe, Why? please. I will do everyone else's makeup here. We're going to look awesome. I just won't do Creed's or Meredith's. Okay, then. So I have decided to do a video podcast and Splash Year, sort of a meet the press slash McLaughlin group with the irreverence of the 80s punk scene. Classy, refined, edgy, saber. 
Okay, uh, welcome friends. Today we are going to discuss what it means to have it all as a Sabre employee. <laughs> We've actually started shooting already. Yes, I'm your sidekick. Oh. Well, I actually wasn't planning on having a sidekick. <laughs> Classic dog. <laughs> hey, Creed, you know like when Jay Leno, he always like makes fun of Kevin Eubanks for masturbating and pot smoking? No, I don't know any of those guys, man. Well, I bet you do that too. <laughs> I will kill you, man. Okay, that was a good rehearsal, guys. Hello, and welcome, friends, to the inaugural podcast of the Saber. Okay. I promise I won't say anything. Hello, and welcome to the inaugural podcast of Saber's first. Mm. Hello, please welcome Kelly Kapoor. Hi. Oh. Wave as you enter, flirt with the host, tell mildly amusing story, act surprised when the host asks about the project that you're plugging, and you will be great. Oh, that is the kind, sweet Ryan that I love. Push up bra, question mark. I was going out to dinner the other night. Went to this Mongolian barbecue place. Oh. Basically, they just give you a bunch of raw food, you put it in a bowl, and then they cook it up for you. But I didn't know this. My boyfriend didn't tell me. <laughs> so I'm just standing there eating a raw bean sprout, being like, they should call this place Mongolian salad bar. <laughs> 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 Craziest stuff happens to me. <laughs> Please welcome Meredith Palmer. Does anyone have anything to say about having it all? Or hey, even business in general. The problem, Gabe, with the question of having it all is that it deals with externals. What have I done? What do I own? None of this matters. What matters is what's happening internally, if you're happy from within. That is an amazing answer. Look at me. I'm the most content person I know. I live in a tent with a woman made of old soup cans. OK, you want to forget it. All I wanted was a simple audio discussion about business. And instead, I get this freak show. Hey, we oh. are doing you a favor. It didn't have to be this complicated. You know what? Say the game. We're leaving. OK. Hey. What are you doing here, Oscar? Oh, I had to come back in to work on my blog. Joe's been noting me to death. <laughs> How did this go? I'm excited. Good. You know, Gabe, I've got a minute if you want to. Seriously? Yeah. You'll do my podcast? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. OK. OK. Hello, I'm sitting here with Oscar Martinez, Star Saber blogger. Well. Oscar, the question is, can you have it all? Nope. Uh-uh. Not with my damn cameras. Slam.